Today, Mariana's high school looks like a typical high school campus, but that wasn't the case on the morning of Tuesday, November 18, 2008, when students arriving for class were turned away and the school was closed down for two days because a body was discovered at the entrance of the school. It was right here in this hallway where the body of the high school security guard was found laying face down. Police say three students broke into the school to steal laptop computers, but stopped to attack their victim along the way. Beaten to death was 45-year-old security guard Efren Ballesteros. The following day, three teens, Eric Rabalaman, Edward Bloss, and Randy Egasomar were arrested for murder. This morning, Judge Robert Naraha sentenced Rabalaman to 26 years with the possibility of parole after serving a third of his sentence, or just over eight years. Defense attorneys Lillian Tenorio and Robert Torres recommended 25 years for Rabalaman. I appreciate uh, the government's fairness uh, throughout this, this, uh, this process. Um, you know, the tragedy that occurred at MHS um, will remain a tragedy. With his sentencing, we hope that we can bring a closure to this matter. Rabalaman's aunt, Adrian Steve, says she's glad her nephew is taking responsibility for his actions. I just want to apologize to the late victim. Hopefully, one day, they'll forgive him for what he did. I know he was wrong. Raphael Rangamar says this crime was out of character for his great nephew. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Before this incident happened, he was staying in my house. He just uh, left one night, then uh, the next day I heard about the incident. I, I feel bad. I start asking uh, who took him out that night. He's never violent. This was his first time. And I know he regret what he did. Yeah. After he was sentenced, Rabalaman addressed the court and did say he regrets what he's done. He said he was up all last night writing a letter of apology to the victim's family. But he says he knows it's not enough for what he did.